Hi, and welcome to RTP Business Live. I'm Bob Collier, your host, and today we have the pleasure of having Michelle Lashley, the owner and founder of the Page Turner Mission. That's right. Welcome. Thank you very much, Bob. Well, let's get right to it. What is the Page Turner Mission? Well, the Page Turner Mission is actually a new venture of mine. Um, it is a web-based resource for people who create content for their businesses or for clients. So it may be uh, freelance copywriters that come there. It could be brand managers with corporations, marketing managers, anyone who has a need to create content, which is pretty much everyone these days, to market their business or their own personal brand. Absolutely. And I think maybe an emphasis on good content. That that would be right. Yes, we, good we content. Because we see so much content getting out there that maybe shouldn't be. Yes, yes. I mean, and, and that was that was one of the inspirations behind. I was just going to ask you. Yeah, that, yeah. That so that was one of the inspirations behind the Page Turner mission is that um, there is so much content. We are inundated with information yes. these days. It's just insane. And what I've noticed is that because we are all publishers these days, because we all have access to social media, we have access to video, all of that stuff. Everybody does. And because of that, on one hand it's great, because that means that everybody has a voice. The, the playing field has been sort of leveled. Right. The downside of that is that you do get a lot of content out there, and a lot of it is just not very good. The breakfast that you had this morning that, that maybe shouldn't go out there? Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> as, and as information for the world to know? That's right, and people forget that, that we're all publishers, and when you post something on Facebook or on Twitter, you are publishing content. And this is particularly important for businesses, you know, as they go about this, this publishing. This is a new thing for a lot of businesses because they have become publishers in addition to what they already do. And so... I was like, you know, I'm, I, I love to read, and mm -hmm. so I love a great book. I love to get lost in it, and it just grabs me until it spits me out at the end. <laughs> and at, at 3 a.m. At 3 a.m. And and I, you know, I love movies that do the same thing. And so I, as as a copywriter by trade, I, I started thinking, you know, why can't we apply some of the same storytelling principles of these page turners? Mm -hmm to our own content that we're creating for businesses and make it content that people just can't get enough of. Absolutely. And so that's... So what does that page turner content look like? Well, it, it, there's, no, <clears throat> there's no one definition for it. Mm -hmm. um, but I think if you look at, at best-selling you know, page turner novels or you know, you know, blockbuster movies, they all have some common elements. Um, they, they all elicit some type of emotion they make us want to do something. Maybe it's get up and cheer or go out and change the world, whatever it might be. They keep us engaged. So all of those are common elements of what I would consider page turner content. And those are elements that are very easy to put into any type of content, whether it's a video, a podcast, a brochure, a website, whatever it is that a business needs, it's easy to put that in there. It's a very teachable skill. It's just that a lot of people don't take that time or they don't really realize that they can put that, those elements into their own material. Right. Yeah, I, okay, I'm an HVAC guy. Yeah. You know, a, a right. story is, is important. A story um, is important. And, and, you know, you think, well, yeah, I'm an, H, I'm an HVAC guy. I don't have a story. Everybody has some story. Every business, every cause, every organization has a story. And, you know, if an, if an HVAC person came to me and said, you know, how can I create content that my customers are, are going to engage with? I would say, well, let's think about how we can provide value to your customers. Mm -hmm. And it may be through a series of short, you know, videos posted up on YouTube about how to, you know, what happens if you're free on runs right. low or if, if you know if your if your HVAC system is cut off what might be some some problems with that so there mm -hmm. are so many ways that any business any person can get content out there that's valuable can you well that's I threw that at you and that's yeah. kind of an on the fly example maybe yeah. an example or two of page turner content that is out in the marketplace today yeah i mean there's there's you know really some great examples you know, especially it's easy you know, when you start thinking about the larger companies, 
Um, American Express Open Forum has great content where people can go and they can share leadership tips or business tips, that kind of thing. Um, there are um, some smaller businesses that I really am interested in because the, the large corporations have you know, the, the people power to, to make a lot of really fancy content, but it doesn't mm -hmm. need to be fancy in order to be page turner content. For instance, um, there's a guy named Pat Flynn who has this, this website called Smart Passive Income. And he, is one, he has a podcast that interviews entrepreneurs and he gets a lot of information out there about how to start businesses, how to, you know, how to, do, you know, how to create revenue streams. Mm -hmm. He has a lot of how-to videos about how to set up a blog. He, he has created a huge audience based on that, and he's one guy. Um, and then another example is a favorite author of mine is Louise Penny. And, and even today, authors have to create their own personal brands. So they can't leave it up to the publishers. She has um, an incredible Facebook following. She does a wonderful job posting and sharing her life hmm. on, on Facebook. And she also sends out a monthly newsletter that, again, shares her life. So you feel, as a reader of hers or as a fan of hers, like you're part of her greater mm -hmm. family. And so mm -hmm. I actually met her over the summer, and it felt like I knew her because of her content. Right. Uh, kind of piggybacking on that, especially the first example, it sounded like um, throwing out the HVAC guy again. Uh -huh. the, the content doesn't necessarily have to be so specific to the HVAC person, if you will, no. uh, if it if it helps the right. reader, engages the reader, and is related, that person can be successful with that story. Is yeah, that it's it's the viewer, the the reader, the the listener. It's not about so much telling about yourself as it is about providing value. To right, your example of the um, the, the how to. Right, yeah. right, and the mm -hmm. financial guy bringing exactly. in people with tangentially related things to his specific market, but That's right. things that are very interesting to maybe that group of people that he would be interested in talking to. That's right, you know, and it's and it's easy to do. Again, I think it's a lot of people don't think about doing that. They get focused on themselves, you know, the business. Oh, let me let me tell you about myself, my business. We have to think about the consumers are looking at it about what's in it for me. And we have to respond to that. Yeah. And, and that's how we can create engagement when we respond to the what's in it for me question that they're asking us. Mm -hmm. And let them drive, you know, what they want in terms of content. What kinds of questions are you getting from, from customers? Okay, am I getting a question over and over and over again about how to do something? Well, maybe I can create a how-to video or how-to podcast or how-to blog post about right. this specific issue. Mm -hmm. And then my customers or my potential customers will see that and they'll start building loyalty with me because they'll start trusting me and then we can because have a relationship you've them. because I've helped them. Absolutely. That's right. That's right. And so what we're doing with the Page Turner mission is providing people all over the world, the tools that they need to create their own content. We're not saying that the Patreon mission, we're going to create it for you. We want you to create it for yourself. Well, let's talk about that. You mm -hmm. mentioned tools. What are the mm -hmm. tools that say uh, an entrepreneur, a writer, marketing manager, mm -hmm. others, what are they going to find to help them at Page Turner Mission? Well, um, what we have right now, we, we have a blog that's really focused on how-tos and sharing great examples of content. We also have a, a weekly newsletter that we're starting that's going to be really a curated newsletter where we're going all around the web and everywhere finding what we think are the best examples of content marketing each week and sharing those with our audience so they don't have to look all yeah, over the place for them. that's so helpful. As you mentioned, there's a huge amount of information right. and you're helping sift through that to find the very useful stuff. That's exactly right. And we're also putting together um, a series of online courses. In fact, we just finished up our first course, online course. Thank you. And so it is in review right now and should be up and ready to go within the next few days. That's exciting. And um, then we're also, we're also in the process of putting together a podcast that people can download. And we're going to be talking with content creators who are doing this right and who mm. can give our audience you know, tips and inspiration and motivation to do right. it. So those, mm. those are the kinds of tools we've got right now, but we are completely open to what our audience says as, as our audience grows and creating what they need us to create. 
Right. Sounds like a very interactive yeah. environment to be in. I, 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 that's what I am hoping it will be. That's wonderful. Yeah. We've covered a lot of ground today. Are there yes. any questions that I haven't gotten to that maybe you want folks to know about Page Turner Mission? Um, I can't. I can't think of any offhand. I think we've we've hit on on everything. I'm really excited about it. Um, you know, people can find it at PageTurnerMission.com, mm -hmm. and we're going to be adding all kinds of new things. This is 2015 is is our year to really push it. So, and we're absolutely open to any feedback that anybody has, and would love to have everybody as a part of that Page Turner community. That's exciting. I think I'm going to be bookmarking that. All and, right. Uh, going to it often. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> we have been so pleased to have Michelle Lashley of the Page Turner Mission as our guest today. For more information about the Page Turner Mission, uh, it will be at the end of the video. We will also have a web page that will have the contact information so you can find out more about the Page Turner Mission. So thanks again, Michelle. Thanks, it's Great Bob. to have you. Uh, come back again real soon and uh, join us on RTP Business Live.